Hey there, you guys. Jan Anderson here. God, I'm all washed out. This light is terrible. Ugh, that any better? Now it's dark. Okay, bleached out old man it is. Hey there, you guys. Jan Anderson here coming to you from the San Francisco Bay Area. Wine country, Sonoma County. Lovely when it's not burning. Anyway, um, uh, I just wanted to share a couple uh, little tips for you today. Sorry, I'm kind of washed out. It's bright outside, but it's hazy and yuck. What are you going to do? Okay, the first is, um, well, it's a couple couple tips in audacity that I use all the time. And for me, they're big life, lifesavers. One helps me edit a lot faster, and the other helps me get rid of um, some clicks, mouth noise, that kind of thing. And I'll explain later. But first, let's go to screen sharing, okay? All right, here we go. Now, sometimes, like this, this file right here, is a long email, uh, uh, email, <laughs> e-learning. And, uh, you know, it's uh, whatever it is, 42, 42 minutes. Uh, anyway, so what I do is sometimes it's, you know, when working on a long linear file like this, it can be a little difficult to, you know, you come down here to the corner and you, you push the arrow button and you scroll along and it's just really, really slow. Or you grab the... Uh, this little uh, cursor right here, and that's that can be really fast. Things whip around really quickly, but there's another way. If you hold down the shift button and free up the flywheel on your mouse, you can cruise along this way. And so you just have, it's just a lot more control, a lot more finesse with scrolling. So that helps me a lot. When I'm searching for something in particular, um, this helps, especially when I'm editing, this trick helps me a lot. Um, just to stop sharing my screen here, what I'm talking about on the mouse is this scroll wheel right here. Now mine has a button that either locks it in, so it's kind of on a geared system, or I can unlock it and it just spins freely like this. Um, and so that, that way you can go really quickly. Um, so anyway, that's that, that's, that is that tip. Water. Drink lots of water. Okay, the other one is, my other tip is for getting rid of mouth noise. Let's go back to screen share. <laughs> okay, now I have pre-recorded a little blurb here. I'm just going to mute this and I'm going to expand this. Twinkle little star, how I wonder where you are. Up There's a wicked bar. I mean, it's, it's full of clicks, but there's a really wicked one in here. Now, if you zoom, well, you can do, first of all, let me back up. There are several ways you can get rid of that click. You can use, oh, like an effect and a, a tool down here called the declicker. That's one that I use a lot. Sometimes it won't work, though. Uh, you can also uh, re-record the whole thing. And that's a good way of, of getting rid of a, a tough spot. But sometimes I like to go in and zoom in here and find it. R. R. Now I'll just uh, track it down. R. 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 Getting closer. Zoom in. Aha. See this right here? That looks like it. Arr, arr, arr. Hear that click? Yuck. Uh, I'll just keep uh, narrowing it down just by reducing the size of my selected area. Arr, arr, arr. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's it. So let's zoom in even, even further. Aha, see that? When you zoom in close enough, your waveform turns into a series of dots. And you can manipulate these dots. Once you've zoomed in close enough, you can come up here to the pencil icon, click that, and then you can change the shape of your waveform. I mean, you can either you can either redraw it like this. Whoa. Okay, I don't even want to know what that's going to sound like. So I'm going to undo that and then just come back here and just kind of smooth out some, some of these dots. I'm going to zoom in a little closer here just to make sure that things are looking pretty smooth. Might move a couple of these right here. 
Well, let's just see how that sounds. So I'm going to zoom back out. Place my cursor here. Bar, bar, bar. Much better. Much, much better. So I'm going to stop sharing again. Anyway, that's just um, another, another way to, to get rid of little imperfections in your audio. You can zoom in close enough and manipulate that waveform. Um, you can also cut out a section um, of offending noise. Actually, maybe I can go in and show you that real quick too. Hang on. Mm -hmm, share screen. Okay, I'm going to undo that edit. Okay, there it is. Okay, let me see if I can go in and surgically remove it. Now, to zoom in, you can either use the the um, uh, of the zoom tool here, this button, and then click back and forth to get to where you want it to go, or even just using the uh, the selection tool, you can pull down the control key and use your scroll wheel on your mouse to go in. Okay, so that's about as far as I want to go right now. So I'm going to find a place where I can cut this out, surgically remove it. And I'm going to go from here to here because you can see the waveform, it, it repeats. See that? See those peaks right there? It repeats uh, to a certain extent when uh, a sound is being made. So I'm going to zoom back in a little bit more here. I'm not quite that far. And I want to, well, maybe. And I just want to bring that to the point where it's crossing this axis here. And I'm going to remove that whole thing. Boom. It's gone. But as you can see, the waveform seamlessly integrates with where I clipped out that section. I hope you guys can understand this. Okay, I'm going to back out and we'll listen to it again. Bar up. Are. You are up above. It's gone. The click is gone, and you can't hear. Sometimes when you make a uh, clip out a section of waveform like that, you can hear it. It'll leave a, an artifact like a thud sound or something like that. It won't match up very well. But if you do it seamlessly, it doesn't always work. You can't always do it. Now, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, uh, or I should say that th this type of intricate uh, waveform manipulation and, uh, you know, going in and, and surgically removing a little click can be time consuming. And I don't always do that. Sometimes it's just easier to use a digital tool or to re-record it and splice that section back in. But sometimes I just like to, you know, work on uh, my editing game. You know, the more that you can do, the more that you can learn how to use your DAW uh, to its fullest capability and do these little things, that's it's all, it's great knowledge. You may not use it. I use it occasionally. I use those tools occasionally, but um, you know, it's just something I thought I'd share. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. If you like what I'm doing, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. That'd be awesome. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks.